Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two lines uh, AG and uh, AH uh, that meet each other at this uh, point A. As you can see in this given diagram, and as a result, we get uh, this uh, angle uh, X. And moreover, we got uh, these uh, segments uh, AB, BC, CD, DE, EF, FG, and uh, GH. And bear in mind that all of these uh, segments uh, are uh, equal in length. And furthermore, uh, this uh, angle G is 84 degrees. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle ABC. And we can see that this uh, triangle is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. So therefore, we conclude uh, that this uh, angle is going to be congruent to this angle. So therefore, we conclude uh, that this uh, angle is going to be X as well. And now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of uh, two opposite uh, interior angles. As you can see in this uh, given diagram, and here we can see this angle C is our exterior angle, whereas uh, these angles A and B are our opposite uh, interior angles, such that uh, this angle C is going to be equal to angle A plus angle B. And now let's focus once again on this uh, triangle ABC. And we can see that this uh, angle is our exterior angle. And these uh, two are our opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore, uh, this exterior angle is going to be the sum of these two opposite interior angles. X plus X is going to make uh, 2X. So therefore, our this angle turns out to be 2X. And now let's focus on this uh, other triangle uh, BCD. And now we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle must be congruent to this uh, angle. If this angle is 2x, uh, then this angle has got to be 2x uh, as well. So therefore our this angle turns out to be 2x as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ACD. And now let's recall the exterior angle theorem once again. According to this theorem, uh, this angle is going to be our uh, exterior angle. And that's going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore, uh, this exterior angle is going to be sum of these two angles, 2x plus x uh, is going to make uh, 3x. So therefore, our this angle turns out to be 3x. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, CDE. And we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, equals to this side length. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, angle has got to be congruent to this uh, angle. If this angle is uh, 3x, uh, then this angle has got to be 3x uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, shaded triangle uh, ADE. And now let's recall the exterior angle once again. According to this uh, theorem, this uh, angle is going to be our exterior angle. Whereas uh, these uh, two angles, this angle and this angle are going to be our opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore, according to this uh, exterior angle theorem, uh, this uh, exterior angle is going to be the sum of these uh, two angles, uh, 3x uh, plus x uh, is going to make it uh, 4x over here. So therefore, our this angle turns out to be 4x. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, shaded triangle uh, DEF. And we can see that this uh, triangle is an isosceles triangle as well, since uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length. And since this is an isosceles triangle, so therefore uh, this angle has got to be congruent to this uh, angle. So therefore, if this angle is 4x, uh, 
then this angle has got to be 4x as well. And now we are going to focus on this uh, shaded triangle uh, AEF and we are going to recall the exterior angle theorem once again according to this uh, exterior angle uh, theorem. This angle has got to be our uh, exterior angle whereas uh, these uh, angles, this angle and this angle are going to be our uh, opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore our this exterior angle is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite interior angles. 4x plus x makes 5x over here. So thus our this angle turns out to be 5x. And here's our next step. Now we are going to focus on this uh, another triangle uh, EFG. And we can see that this uh, is an isosceles uh, triangle as well. Since this side length uh, equal to this side length. And since this is an isosceles triangle. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be congruent to this uh, angle. If this angle is 5x uh, then this angle has got to be 5x uh, as well. And now we are going to focus on this uh, shaded triangle uh, AFG. And let's recall once again the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem uh, this angle has got to be our exterior angle whereas uh, these angles uh, are uh, our opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore our this uh, exterior angle is going to be the sum of these two opposite interior angles. 5x plus x is going to make it uh, 6x. Uh, and now we are going to focus uh, on this triangle uh, FGH. And we can see that this is an isosceles triangle as well since this side length uh, equal to this side length. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be congruent to this uh, angle. If this angle is 6x uh, then this angle has got to be 6x as, as well. So thus our this angle is uh, turns out to be 6x. And finally let's focus on this uh, big shaded triangle uh, AGH. And now let's recall the exterior angle theorem once again. According to this theorem uh, this angle is going to be our uh, exterior angle whereas uh, these angles this angle and this angle are going to be our opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore our this uh, exterior angle is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles. 6x plus x uh, is going to make it uh, 7x over here. And here's our final step. Let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, angle uh, g turns out to be 7x and that angle is uh, 84 degrees uh, as well. So therefore we are going to equate uh, these two angles. So therefore we can write uh, 7 times x uh, equals to 84 degrees. Let's divide both sides by 7 to isolate uh, x uh, and here we can see 7 and 7 is gone. So therefore our angle uh, x uh, turns out to be 12 degrees. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our angle uh, x turns out to be 12 degrees. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.